Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to speak about the most worn handbags in my collection. So I'm very excited to share them with you. Um, there is no pressure. I hope you know that, right guys? Like buying handbags. Like I am here just to talk about the pieces, to tell you like my experience, but I'm not pressuring you to buy any of this. Like, no, like I'm so over. I am so, so over this luxury Instagram obsession over people constantly buying and buying and buying and unboxing and unboxing and unboxing. I'm just like, how much stuff we really need in our life, right? I mean, I understand when we are in certain age, we want certain things. I know it. but. I am 38 now, <laughs> time flies, <laughs> I am 38 now guys and living here in Prague actually show me how much stuff I had purchased in my life and some of the things I rarely wear, some of the things I never wear anymore, some of the things I don't have the opportunity to wear because it just doesn't match my lifestyle. It just doesn't match my lifestyle. It may is uh, complementing who I am, but it's not matching where I'm living right now. So yeah, <laughs> so those are the things as well you should think about when you're purchasing luxury items because the prices are going sky high, right? It's like every six months there is like increase in <laughs> luxury pieces from jewelry, handbags, shoes, ready to wear. I feel like just these prices are a little bit out of control. And I can tell you, I still have a few bags on my list. I'm not going to lie. But if I get these bags this year, next year, or 10 years from now, I just don't care. I, I'm not hunting anything. If I ever purchase another bag, it will be just like meant to be. I am not on a hunt for any more handbags. Moving from states here <laughs> showed me how, how worried you get about these overpriced items, having them with you or having them in luggage or having them in boxes which you shipped by with people you don't know. <laughs> Those are things you spend a lot of money on. So. I personally prefer if I had a little bit less than I have, but today I want to share with you the bags I've been wearing the most from what I have. I'm not gonna show you everything I have, it's not necessary, but I'm just going to speak about what I'm wearing the most and why and why I'm loving it. And as well, guys, please don't feel the pressure of constantly buying new bags just because you see them on social media. I mean, I know we love nice things, right? We are women, we, that's our thing, we love nice things. Men do love nice things too, like cars, right? They love cars, I like cars too. I don't understand them, but visually I really enjoy them. So I want to share with you the bags I've been wearing since we moved to Europe the most and why I'm, I'm actually will be speaking about why I'm skipping on the other bags. So. The number one bag I'm going to show you right now is a bag you haven't seen much like in my outfits because this is something guys I haven't worn in years. This handbag, I had it in two colors. I sold the beige one which was totally destroyed because I, at the time I didn't know about color transfer much <laughs> so I kind of ruined it um, and I kept the black one of course. Black is one of my happiest colors, right? And uh, I started wearing this handbag here, guys. This is the Christian Dior Libertine handbag. As you can see, it has the beautiful CD. It's kind of falling apart at the moment. Like there is a piece of leather which like slide out of here. I mean, I can totally just push it back in. This was actually the first luxury handbag I purchased. I actually, <laughs> my husband, when, when we moved to Miami, my husband was like, is this really what you want? I'm like, yeah. And I was telling him, this is the only handbag I will ever want. And I met this girl, her name is Sinid, great woman. <laughs> and I show her the bag 
on pictures when I was planning to purchase it and told her this is the only bag on the world I want and she's like she like hold my shoulders and she was like Iveta this is the first bag this is not the only one bag which you will ever want or you will have and I was just like no that's not true this is really only what I want <laughs> well she was absolutely right my collection of handbags definitely grew since then and it's completely different style so this handbag I thought back in the days when I was much younger, when I was 26, that this will be it forever. Well, <laughs> luxury pieces are not always meant to be worn every day as well. I can tell you that things can break and you will regret it. You will be like, why it's breaking? I spent $4,000 on it. If you buy a luxury car, right, and you run into the wall, it breaks. You know what I mean? Just because something is expensive doesn't mean it will last forever. If you buy a house or apartment for millions of dollars, euros or whatever, yeah, you may have dents in the wall, you may have to change the plumbing, you may have to update the kitchen, update the shower, you know, things get old. <laughs> That's life. We age as well and we are the most precious, no? I think, uh, uh, to me, me, I'm the biggest investment of myself. So anyway, the biggest investment for myself, not of myself, for myself. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, so I got this handbag when I was 26 and I thought this will be all I will ever want. I was obsessed, obsessed with this John Galliano design for Dior. And two, three years into me having this handbag, I kind of figured out how impractical was it because I mean it has gorgeous leather inside guys um, but it's pitch black can't find anything the structure is so soft the second you put something there it's like Bermuda triangle it's lost forever <laughs> or at least you take everything out so you can find the keys <laughs> it's so annoying it is so annoying so yes I haven't worn this handbag my god maybe at least for nine years now we moved here and because here is different um what i've been doing with this bag is i'm wearing it to the gym i'm wearing this bag as a gym bag as the most elegant gym bag on the world i have to say <laughs> because you know at this point i don't see myself wearing such a large bag anywhere and if I ever need it for my life or work or something like a big bag to carry things in it, I will get a structured bag because, you know, big saggy bags are not my thing anymore because I like to be fast when I look to my bag for things. Just like look, open, touch things, take things, I have it, you know. So this is actually one of the, at the moment, the most used bag because we go to the gym five or six times a week five times um most of the time five times so yeah that's what i've been doing i've been using this gorgeous little beauty for a gym also you know the difference here why i'm using this back to the gym you know in miami you just put your gym clothes on and you go you get your towel at the gym you hold your bottle of water in your hand as you walk into the gym here guys it's different <laughs> you need hat you need gloves I have a hoodie, <laughs> I have my own towel because they don't provide towel in this gym and it's a nice gym and they don't give you towels. In uh, the States I haven't used this bag because I really don't use such a big bags for every day anymore. So that is the, at the moment the most used bag. <laughs> so then guys, I have two everyday bags which I've been using here so much. And I'm gonna show you to you at the same time. And it's these two. <laughs> so of course, right? As you can see, they are both in like ouch. They are both in a medium size. Um, this is the Chanel boy bag, and this is the Celine Triumph in medium. Guys, you keep asking me what size is my bag? Is medium or the classic, whatever 
When I was buying this salon bag, they call it the classic, I think now it's medium. So yes, these are the most worn bags for everyday use. Why? So living in a city where we don't drive car, I feel the most comfortable wearing my bags crossbody, guys. I just like to have my bags crossbody. I I am a little bit stepping away from holding my bags in a hand. That's why I don't go as much for my Dior bags because even the Lady Dior could be worn crossbody. I don't think it's really matching right now the speed of my movement through the city. It's like very elegant bag and I prefer a little bit of more sporty look when I'm like running through the city. And I am a runner guys. I, I'm married to New Yorker. From the beginning it was a problem <laughs> and now I'm just like him and I just like run through the city. <laughs> so for me, for the comfort part of my life when I'm running errands or going to buy something like going to doctor's appointments, I just like to wear these two because they are very comfortable. I have to say I am happy I didn't sell this little one. So yes, I just wear these two all all the time all the time they're also very convenient i mean with this one if i want i can just throw it like this on my shoulder you know chic cute love it it's a little bit more delicate because of the lamp skin this one is uh, actually showing up to be guys very durable <laughs> i am not as gentle with it anymore because it's a little bit older now to me so the very precious feeling about it changed um, hold, it's holding up very well, I have to say. I'm really happy with it. The only one thing I would have changed about this piece is, and I'm sorry to say that, I love the size, but if I went back in, in time, if I could do it, <laughs> I would get a smaller one. Because like, I do not wear so many things anymore. And this bag is quite spacious. And sometimes when I wear this bag, I just kind of start putting things in it just to have things in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It really is spacious. Like, it is spacious bag. Like, anyway, so these are absolutely most worn bags during the daytime for me. Yes, I'm putting them on the floor. It's a gorgeous, clean floor here. So, don't judge. Not that I would care, though. So, go ahead. <laughs> There's like always one person, right? Who's just like, oh my god you put your hand back on the floor i mean they have dust bag right there too so for the evening i have four bags here now which are the most worn bags so one of them is as well handbag which i haven't worn in miami as much but here it became definitely one of my favorite bags when we go for like night out or for drink is this one guys is the Chanel little envelope style clutch in I think it's a lambskin or some other soft leather and uh, yes it has like a fabric inside it's very pretty I haven't worn it in Miami for a very long time the reason why is because it seemed a little too too old school for Miami, but here in Prague with like winter outfits, the coats and blazers, it just kind of is matching the vibe here. But I think when we return to Miami, I won't be wearing it again as much. The reason is, so here we don't really go, there is not lounges here in Prague. We don't have lounges. We have a little bars, a lot of pubs, and then there are clubs where a lot of kids go. Like there is like adult bars here. I don't really enjoy them because as well, it's just a very different environment. So in Miami, you get to go for dinner and after dinner you go to like nice bar where it's like live music, people dancing and you can stand or you can purchase seat <laughs> for like thousands of dollars. <laughs> you know, so you kind of tend to um, what, what I was going to say, you kind of, yes, you're gonna go for a little bit different kind of bag, especially if you're like dancing, right? Um, 
this kind of handbag would be very practical for me in Miami because you have to hold it in your hand or have it under your arm and then you hold drink it's not very convenient for my life in Miami but here is great because the tables in the restaurants here are quite tiny and it's not like what I get used to that restaurants here give you like a handbag chair <laughs> you might be spoiled that handbag chair is something I'm considering as a normal you're not gonna be worrying about scratching your leather <laughs> so yes in Prague definitely wonderful handbag for the evening for the winter season for the summer season I'm not gonna be going for this handbag as much so it's going to sleep till we probably go to like New York or something in like winter or something like that so the other two most worn bags are these two babies and you know what guys I am so so happy to have them like they are so convenient like oh my goodness and I have two perfect colors this is like cream of white you see the the curtain is gray so you can see the difference in the tone this is just like the Bottega Veneta let's say the name the Bottega Veneta small or mini pouch whatever is the name exactly right <laughs> guys I am obsessed with this bag like I am just so happy to have them they are very very convenient I want to show you I want to show you one thing because I received sorry camera it's shaking because I received some messages people wanted to know how much it fits so I have the classic size iPhone you can fit it there but don't forget the clutch is right now empty guys it's empty yes so once you have your lipstick once you have your card case and that's it <laughs> maybe tissues I always have tissues on me then it's, it gets kind of full my phone fits there will you be able to fit the bigger phone when you have something else in the bag i'm not so sure about it you may can figure out how to fit it but it will be very difficult to take it out in my opinion it's just like right there you know what i mean so what i love about this bag is the convenience it's soft it's small you cannot carry too many things in it because it barely fits anything right like, <laughs> very easy to figure out and what I like, you can have it in your hand because it's tiny, very comfortable to slide like this as well. And what I love, love to do, guys, because I did this, this double strap thing, you see, I have it on both of them. And you can adjust the length of the strap. You can move it there and back. Don't ask me how I did this. I just created this knot and it allows me to make the strap shorter or longer. I mean, this strap was created for very tall people, no? Like, I'm 5'7", but I think this was for like 6 feet people. Anyway, so this is very convenient bag because let's say you're drinking and you want to dance and you want to be comfortable. I don't like to put my bags aside of my, like out of my vision because I have experience with it. But the handbag was stolen from me. That was actually the first luxury bag was Burberry, like whatever. At the time, it was very precious to me. <laughs> it was with the logo, the bowling style, like in a small size. I loved the bag at the time so much. It was stolen on my birthday because I was drinking too much. I was partying, dancing, having the best time of my life, and somebody took it. <laughs> yeah, it created a lot of trouble in my life. So anyway guys, so that's why I like to have back like this because you know what? In my summer outfits, I um, I like to dress elegant in a very feminine way, but as well smart. So I like to put my bags crossbody. And because they are tiny, it works. If you had big bag, which you do like crossbody, it may look bad, but it kind of gets lost in the outfit and you can dance, you can grab your spouse, you know, and dance together. You know what I mean? Just like living your best life, right? <laughs> Just enjoy the time out without worrying that, that you will never see your credit cards again or your phone or your keys. My goodness, imagine that again. No, 
as you can see this handbag has the knot as well I have the two different leathers what's the name of this leather? I don't know I don't remember right now but it's the classic Bottega Veneta uh, yes I have for the same reasons for this one as for that one but this one I've been wearing actually a lot these days because guys I just feel like I've been wearing it so much and the bag looks even better like the shine of the leather is just so perfect I just think Bottega Veneta bags are forever greatest investment especially this micro micro mini pouches I just love them I will definitely go for another color like maybe this gorgeous they had like this green which was like sage green oh my god so so pretty I love it I'm not a big fan of the Jody one because of the sagginess <laughs> but I mean it, it's as well good because you can have it on your hand like this when you go out right but it's not my favorite design so I love these pouches so so much um, I as well have the large pouch which I wore probably three times since I got it guys why because it's so not convenient for me to use like as you get older me as I'm getting older my priorities change so much that there are certain things which just like are not so important to me like honestly I don't understand the obsession of people of having everything of all the time like buying and buying and buying and buying I mean if you if that's your job I understand that if you're a normal consumer like I am <laughs> <laughs> like living normal life you know then you just don't need everything right and I feel like the big pouch from Bottega it's a little bit extraordinary right I don't think it's for everyone because it's really not convenient back to have it's uncomfortable like if you put too many things in it it's just so heavy <laughs> you, can, you can at the point not even wear it like down here you have to hold it in your hand it's just not it for me i love the bag i'm very happy to have it i love the color i have which is like the caramel gold whatever you call it but i really barely wore it last year i wore the bag i think once the year before once and then the year before once i think yes i mean i always want to wear it somewhere but it just doesn't happen i think it's because it's really big bag and I don't carry that many things it's another Bermuda Triangle situation and I just don't I just don't I don't but I am really very loving smaller bags these days like I don't carry that much stuff tissues wallet which is card case and keys lipstick lip gloss and I will always have like little tiny perfume that's it I don't need really anything else and the another most worn bag in my collection you know it the medium Chanel classic yes this is the perfect size of bag for me guys but like I say I tend to not to wear as much stuff anymore what I as well love about the Chanel bag guys so I know I mean I'm 5'7 so take it from there yes that's my height 5'7 <laughs> Uh, if you put it like this I am able to wear this back crossbody kind of comfortably and that is another reason I love this bag when I was buying it I was first worried like oh my god I will not be able to wear crossbody because so many people say they can't I was just like I wish I was shorter it was the first time in my life I was just like I wish I was shorter but I figured it out <laughs> anyway what I love about this bag guys and what I have noticed about myself as a person what is very important for me in bags is the convenience of having it on my shoulder or crossbody to have this I like to have hands-free life to be possibly on my phone I take like thousand pictures of the same buildings at all times anyway guys so this is definitely a bag which I've been wearing for nice dinner out I been a um, little bit more disconnected from even like I do wear this bag quite a lot and I would love to say like you know here in Prague I just don't feel like it's necessary to have 
these kind of things because there are not so many nice places to wear them to. Guys, if I could pick two bags from here uh, and give up the rest, I have two bags. I could pick two only. I could have only two from these bags which I've been using the most. And I have more bags, as you know, I have my dear bags, which I am not wearing, as I say, in Prague as much, guys, because they are in hand bags. And it just doesn't work as much for me here, because I really walk a lot around. So that's why I, they're not in this video. It doesn't mean I don't like them or I don't use them or I won't use them if they're back in the States. It's just, I couldn't, it's not this kind of crowd here. So the two bags will be these two, absolutely, because I like to have black classic bag and I just, I mean Chanel is a winner for me guys, it's elegant, it's very classic, it looks great just with t-shirt and jeans or with like little black dress or jacket, coat, trench coat, it looks great with everything. This is like the must have bag, I think, for every woman, I think if you are on a journey for the best bag, I have to say this is it. I know a lot of people don't like to hear it because of the price increases. Yes, it's disgusting. The price increase is disgusting. It just like makes me nauseous just to think about it. But if you go for the caviar leather, if you don't go for the lambskin leather, it's going to be much more durable. My jumbo caviar is incredibly durable bag. The bag went through hell with me. Everyday use for like six years straight, guys. Everyday use. And the bag is in perfect condition. It has certain things, but it's in great condition. So it definitely the money I put to the bag were worth it. You know what I mean? But this is the size. I'm absolutely in love with. So why the next bag will be this one? Because I just think it's great to have light tone bag, guys. Plus, I just love again. It's very convenient with the strap. Also very elegant but it can be kind of sporty as well. I just love to have summer tone bag and I think like off-white is just perfect for summer, you know, for little dresses, going for, you know, dinners and cocktails, like, yes, this is just a little perfect tone for summer. So if I would, if I could keep only two from this selection which I'm talking about today, it definitely will be these two. I mean, of course I will never give up my Chanel Classic. You know how difficult it is to get this back now? <laughs> so yes, guys, so these are the two. Yeah, what do we think about these two? I mean, I know some of you hate so much Chanel right now. What I can do is not really what I have done, <laughs> it's just what I have and I'm sharing this video with you guys <laughs> of the most worn handbags for 2022 for sure and I can tell you that Bottega Veneta bags been the most worn bags at all times, both of them the black and this gorgeous white one because they are just so convenient and you know the small table situation in the restaurant. It's just good to have tiny bag. Yes, guys, so these are the two absolutely favorite, which I will choose from all of these to have them as the only. And the rest, I will technically be able to just not to have. Um, I just wanted to ask you before I go, <laughs> which of these bags I just showed you will be the only two bags which you would like to have? Or actually, from the whole existence of all brands <laughs> and all bags which two bags would be enough for you to have and you didn't have to have anything else let me know in the comments below i'm really curious because you know with this very high pressure on consuming and spending and having it all all the time i i'm just really curious what my community here is leaning towards anyway guys so please comment below let me know what you think and i'm really curious to hear it so get to go get to go see you next week bye